Hmm? Yeah, okay. okay, Philippe Lacotte, uh, thanks for your time. It's a pleasure to have this interview with you. I'm talking uh, um, in the name of all the members of Akira Cine Club. So let's okay. start from the beginning, from your beginning. Um, well, um, you were born in Ivory Coast. Yeah. Uh, at the economical capital, Abidjan. And you grew up uh, very close to one cinema. Could you tell us uh, how important was this cinema for you? Uh, thank you for this invitation. I'm happy to, to screen the film in your festival. And uh, I say hello to the audience. Uh, yes, I grew up uh, near a cinema uh, called uh, The Magic, Le Magic. Mm -hmm. Uh, very, nice be very beautiful name. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and uh, this cinema was like a, a nursery for me because uh, I was uh, two years old. I started at two years old in this cinema. And uh, my mother used, it, used this cinema like uh, a nursery, uh, <laughs> like, my, like a babysitter place. So when oh. she wanted to to make something, she put, she sent me, she put me in this cinema and she came, she came later, sometimes 10 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes to, 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 to take me. And uh, so it was very difficult to, to watch the complete film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ah, it was and, difficult. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, it was difficult because I, 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 I was not able to stay one hour and a half at this time. So mm -hmm. it was 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 10 minutes. Uh, so uh, I think we can see, we can feel it in my work. There's a mm -hmm. lot of stories and different stories. And uh, so this cinema magic was, uh, was very important for me because it was uh, a cinema very open for me. It was possible to enter, to go outside, I, to go to go to see the projectionist, to to yeah, I, and it was a it was a magical it was a magical place for me, uh, and uh, I remember the the most important scene I I I I I, I lived in uh, who happens who happened in this cinema for me. One day we watched. We are watching. We were watching a, a Bruce Lee film, mm -hmm. and uh, there was Bruce Lee who was in a house, and uh, there was a bad guy behind Bruce Lee who want to kill Bruce Lee. With, and and uh, suddenly a spectator, someone in the audience, jumped on the stage, and. Uh, Use this knife mm -hmm. and killed the bad guy on the screen. <laughs> Amazing. So, so he destroyed he destroyed the screen to kill the bad guy. So uh, this so of course we we stopped the screening, but it was a, it was very strange for me because we we were we 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 thought that everything were on the screen was true for mm -hmm. us yeah this yeah, is a childhood uh, this is like that yeah. yeah 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 this is what i call the degree zero of cinema mm -hmm. yeah it means that uh, you believe uh, of everything you watch and uh, i was like this and i think i'm always like this uh, i was sure that uh, charlo was my grandfather uh, because sometimes we we went uh, at the French Cultural Center and we it was possible to watch uh, Charlie Chaplin's films and short and it was uh, it was amazing for us mm -hmm. but uh, we were not members so it was difficult to enter it was not easy yeah this was my my childhood my childhood in Abidjan. No. Uh, so I grew up uh, really in cinema. That's really, really in nice. cinema. And when, yeah, and when I decided to, 
to be a director. I didn't make a cinema school, but I started as a projectionist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. In, in, fact, in, uh, in Cinema Le Crater at Toulouse. And uh, theater, cinemas are the place where uh, I, the best place for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Because later you become a radio reporter, a yeah. projectionist, and you were yeah. involved in many other film sectors. When you decide yeah. to be a filmmaker and, and why? Uh, I, de I decided at the beginning when I when I when I when, uh, I decided in 2023. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, 2003. Mm -hmm. uh, no, before, before, before. I decided to be a director, uh, and when I decided to be a director, I stopped to be a radio reporter for this because. I decided that I want to go to cinema and uh, to be a director. It was not to be a projectionist. Projectionist was, was a way to be a director. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, at the end of my, uh, my period, my, my time, my career as a radio reporter, I started as a radio reporter, but at the end, I was assistant of radiophonic drama. Mm -hmm. And radiophonic drama, it's mean a script, it's mean actors, it's mean a uh, yeah, lot of things who are near things. cinema. Yeah, and uh, you have, for example, uh, Orson Welles, who made a very beautiful radio drama. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, was, uh, it, was, uh, it was very, it was very creative, very alive. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't stay at the radio reporter because I was in Radio France at this time, and I was very young, 20 years old, and uh, uh, I was obliged to stay 20 years to be a director, mm -hmm. a radio, di radio director, and it was too long for me. So I decided to move, to go to cinema, and at this time, I was sure that I wanted to be a director. So I, I used... The, the this uh, this uh, function of projectionist to watch films, to watch films, to watch the same film ten times, to watch uh, the editing one time, to watch uh, the light, to to observe light. To uh, I worked in uh, Le Crater at Toulouse. It was a small cinema. Very very utopic cinema because we were not linked by money. So we were very free to, to, to present to the audience what, what we want, what we wanted, what we like it. So nice. we were, yeah, it was a, it was a chance. We were the, the, maybe the first, uh, in the first theater cinemas in France, to, to project, to screen the uh, first film of David Lynch, of, uh, of uh, uh, this director, uh, Wim Wenders, Jim Jarmusch, all this film, uh, Abbas Kiarostami. And uh, yeah, the first, well, where is the house of my friends? The first film of uh, Kiarostami, first, first Almodova, Matador. Uh -huh. Uh, Pepe Lucci, uh, all this film uh, was uh, in our programmation. So it was uh, in our program. So it was a, a very beautiful cinema and uh, we invited a lot of directors. That's and nice. it was also for me a way to hear a director, how, how he speaks about, how directors they speak about their work, how they, yeah. And uh, in this in this cinema, I started to 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 make a program of fantastic film. I, I built a program of fantastic film, uh, like uh, Europe, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show, some, mm -hmm. something like this for young people. And by this way, I met some young people who were photographers. Uh, who want a uh, cameraman who wants to make light. And by this way, we built a small team, a small crew. 
and uh, I we started. I started my short films like this oh, in okay. sixteen mil, in sixteen millimeters. That's really nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's talk about your filmography. Several mm -hmm. shorts, documentaries, and two movies. I think that you need to talk about the history of your country. Doesn't matter if it's fiction or documentary. It is possible that you have a little or a big journalist inside, a kind of a, a journalist spirit. I was, a, when I was a radio reporter, I was like a journalist. Mm -hmm. I was like a journalist because I, I covered the, uh, the wall in Berlin. Uh, I made, uh, during one year, I made uh, political interviews in France of Jean-Marie Le Pen and uh, other guys like this. I, I made a lot of interviews. So I, I'm a sort, I was a sort of journalist. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I started my work, my work started in France. I mm -hmm. was at Toulouse. I made short films in 16 millimeters, black and white in 35 millimeters. And uh, after this, I started, I, 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 I continue as a reporter because I, I, I missed this uh, position of, uh, of, of a reporter. Radio reporter. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I started with uh, Cairo Hours, a portrait of young poets in Egypt, in Cairo, mm -hmm. uh, as a, a, like a documentary, like a free documentary with my collaborator, Delphine Jacquet. We, we worked together. And after this, uh, I traveled to Ivory Coast in 2002 to make a film uh, alone about my childhood and about uh, a friend who was uh, dead, who died in uh, La Maca, this prison. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, I wanted to make a film uh, about our a sort of lost generation of young people in Abidjan. And three days later, after three days after my three days after my arrival, uh, the rebellion started. Mm. Okay, so I made a film chronicle of war in Ivory Coast, and it was my first film uh, in Ivory Coast, and my first time I first time I. I, I worked on this political crisis in Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. and by this and and I worked with a with a video reporter to make a, I I, I film my area my district in a, in Abidjan a suburb of Abidjan during three weeks of cover few, and uh, I made different interview of different camps on the street I film TV and so. By this way, I become a sort of observator of this crisis. But it was not a plan. It mm. was not a plan. It was not a plan to make a film about the war. And uh, after this, I come also from a political family. And after this, I continue to stay a sort of an observator of, of my country, mm. of, the, of young people in my country inside this crisis, political and military crisis. And I made one, my first feature, who was in Cannes, about uh, a, young, a young boy who, who, who killed the prime minister. Mm -hmm. And uh, I made the uh, Night of the Kings about La Maca, about but, La with, Maca. Some, but with, uh, with some image who remember, who are linked with, uh, with our, our political conflict. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about this film, The Night of the Kings. Yeah. It's the film yeah. that we are going to show in Akira Cine Club. And this, this film has been running all around the world. No, It's been selected yeah. to represent yeah. uh, Ivory Coast for the Oscars yeah. as Best yeah. International Feature Film in yeah. 2021. Uh, what, this movie, um, what has this movie that uh, makes itself so special? Uh, it's, uh, I think uh, really, it's not because I'm the director, but I was very surprised by this movie at the end. Uh, I think there is something very special in this film because we can feel when you watch this film, you can feel that the director 
as a real connection with prison. Mm -hmm. I think yes. this is and, and why you can, you can feel it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. this is why the film is good and is, mm -hmm. is particular because there is a lot of film about prison. Prison movie is a genre, mm -hmm. is a sort of genre. But uh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I was not in, I was not a prisoner, but I visited a lot of prison. I have some friends, some brother who are in prison. I have some friends who are, who, who dead, who are dead in prison. Uh, when I was child, my mother was in uh, in La Maca for political reason. So, uh, so you've been in La Maca before. Yeah, yeah. So I know La Maca since I, I, I am uh, eight years. Yeah. So it's not a, it's not a subject who is far from me. It's, mm. a, it's a subject who is very near me. And mm -hmm. I, I think we can feel it. Yeah, yeah, you can feel it because the film mix uh, a bit of fiction, documentary, surrealism, drama, uh, tales, legends. This is a mix yeah. of many influences. Uh, this is your yeah. way to 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 shoot, to talk. It, yeah, it's, it's my way to talk. It's my way to tell stories because uh, what is important for me, it's uh, my camera goes where there is stories. Mm. Stories are in an uh, archive. Stories could be in a reportage. Stories could be in a fiction, in a legend. For me, it's mm -hmm. all these elements as a, are, are one element. You can put it in one, in one film. Mm -hmm. So it's my work to, to find a way to jump or to, to, go, to, to go to an archive to uh, a mystical scene with a, with a, with a, with a, with a door. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's a, I like when a film is not one way, when mm -hmm. it's not one way, like a word, when a, when a film is a mix, when a film is a mixed genre, because I, I, don't, feel, I don't think that there is something pure. Uh, I like uh, this aesthetic of collage when uh, there's a lot different pieces and all different pieces will represent a sort of puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This yeah, yeah. Is, uh, yeah. How, how did you get to the plot of the movie? Sorry? How, how did you find the plot of the movie? Uh, I find the, 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 the pitch of the movie uh, by a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, he was in La Maca. He was out of La Maca, and I met him, a childhood friend. I met him because La Maca is not very far from my, my district. So a lot of young people, my district is a popular district, Yopougon. A lot of young people of Yopougon are in La, uh, are members of La Maca, are, mm -hmm. are, are prisoners because yeah. uh, it's a poor area and uh, like this, you know, you know this system. Uh, this circle. Uh, and this childhood friend, he told me in La Maca, we have a ritual, we choose a prisoner, and he is obliged to tell stories each night. Of course, it was not in one night. Of course, it was, it was not the capital death, sentence of death. I put it. You are making a spoiler the of the story. film. <laughs> no, but uh, I. When, when he told me this story, uh, directly, I saw all these elements I like in a film, in my stories, in my film. I, see, I saw a narrator, I saw a dispositive, mm -hmm. I saw a story, mm -hmm. and I saw a fight against violence, a question against violence. So for me, it was, it was enough. But it was not enough to spend four years. Uh, the story connected directly with my family story, with my mother when she was in La Maca as a political prisoner. And uh, I, I, got, uh, I kept a very strong image of this place because La Maca is inside the forest. It's like a kingdom. It was as a 
child for me. It's a prison who is very open. So as a visitor, you can have interaction with a, a prisoner. A prisoner can take your bread. A prisoner can take your newspaper. It's a big room and everybody's in this room and they discuss prisoners. Everybody's and, mix. And yeah. Mm -hmm. as it, uh, for, and, 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 and everybody is mixed for 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 discussion. Not mm -hmm. you have prison of men, prison of women, but uh, there is one place to for visitors, and it's mixed, and it's very open. It's very open. So for me, as a child, it was like uh, Lamaca was like a kingdom with uh, ki kings, queens, lackeys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the title of the, of the movie. But well, your film combines a, a cloudy and dark atmosphere typical of the prison gender with a, part, a particular lyricism. Uh, I mean, it's, it's especially when the protagonist tells uh, his story orally and the prisoners enter in a trance, dancing and singing. Oral narration is uh, as important in Africa and it is in your film. Uh, yes, uh, with this film, uh, I wanted to pay a tribute to oral uh, storytellers of West Africa. They call, they call them uh, griots. Mm -hmm. a, griot, a griot could be a man, could be a woman, mm -hmm. but it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family job. It's a, the transmission is family by fam in the same family, son by father to a son, father to a daughter, a daughter to a, a, a son like this. Mm -hmm. uh, you, can't, uh, you can't be a griot like me, I can't be a griot. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's inside certain particular families. Mm -hmm. And uh, griots are our, sto are our traditional storytellers and griots have a free function. Uh, griots, they, uh, they, 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 they tell stories. Uh, they tell the, gen the genealogy of people because there is, no, there is not a book for this. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know something about your grandfather, about your ancestors, you will do go to see the griots and he will say, your, your father made this, your father made this, your grandfather made this, your grandfather was like this, because he learned by his father, who learned by his father. So he has all the history of your family. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's the, 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 the griot, uh, he makes the glory of the king, he's uh, near the king to, to say the glory of the king by songs, by by poems, by uh, stories, mm -hmm. and is also the historian of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. well, so well. it's, yeah, so it means that for us, the border between the small story, the family story, history, and the big history, the border is very fine. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing for it's us. The same thing. Yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. And the border between Invisible world and visible world, dead people, alive people, magical things, realistic things. This border is very fine, and we cross this border very easily. Mm -hmm. And it was important. It's our perception, it's our culture, and it was important for me to 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 make this film with our reality, with of of the world. Mm -hmm. Okay to use the African and the Ivorian reality to, 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 to show this story. No, uh, in fact, uh, I think that the, it becomes the, the key point to understand the plot and is the great asset of the film. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, well, no, uh, the day that we get in contact, uh, you told me that you were searching locations and making type, uh, casting. Uh, yeah. uh, what is your next project? Uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a small project, but uh, it's a, it's a, it's a project who is a, who, who who become important now. We 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 worked on a TV series 
mm -hmm. an international TV series who will tell uh, a part of African music. Oh, that's really yeah. nice. A part of African music. It's a fiction. It's not a documentary. Mm -hmm. But through our two characters, we will shoot in Abidjan and Kinshasa, Congo and Ivory Coast. And okay. we will tell the, the, the big African music in, in, uh, between these two countries. Ah, it's a kind of a documentary film, fiction, like, a, you know, no, I don't it's know. A, it's a fiction, but through this fiction, it's a fiction and the main characters, the two main characters are musicians. Mm -hmm. They are star of Coupe de Calais, a urban dance and music. But they are son also, and, and, and their parents are old musicians of rumba, of uh, uh, Ivorian music. And by this way, by this fight, uh, we will tell a part of, uh, we, will, we will hear music, we will speak about music, we will sh show music, so, and, mm -hmm. and we will also show the, the uh, a sort of history of African music. Uh, that's really nice. Yeah. There is one yeah. director from Basque Country. I don't know if you know him. Is uh, Fermin Muguruza. He's more famous as as a musician. Uh, he has done several uh, documentary films, uh, a bit of uh, fiction as as well. And uh, he has been um, um, traveling all around the um, Arab yeah. countries. Showing yeah. the music of this uh, of Egypt, of Lebanon, of uh, okay. Palestine. Okay. Uh, but I don't know if you know Yeah. No, I don't know him. I don't know him. I will go to see. Mm -hmm. I will go to see. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is this is the project. But uh, I work also on a future film, mm -hmm. and uh, we will make an announce uh, next uh, Cannes Festival. Oh, so very nice. near. Really nice yeah. place to announce uh, something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, uh, thank you very much. Uh, good thank luck you. in your new project. Uh, and we hope to see you in Barcelona, uh, yeah, where yeah, you yeah. are invited to visit us for sure. Yeah. I, I, I love this city. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, just, um, if you want to tell uh, something to our audience in the theater of San Paul de Mar. Uh, I will say to the audience that uh, there is a few images comes from Africa and a lot of images comes from coming from Africa uh, are not making make, are not produced by Africans. Mm -hmm. Usually it's produced by European. Africa yeah. is a sort of misunderstanding. We have not enough image. So I will ask you, I will ask to the audience not to try to understand, not to try to, to, to describe, but uh, try to feel something. And you will see that you will go at the end of the film very, very easily. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, you. Philippe. It's been, it's been a pleasure. I Thank hope you. to see you in Barcelona, yeah. as I told you. Yeah, and, thank uh, you. let's get in contact. Uh, yeah, good thank luck you. with your project. And, yeah, thank you. And uh, thank you. Thanks for your festival. And have a good screening. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye bye.